Hey what's up guys, welcome to another Informed Player Review with me, Boy FIFA 1 HD. As you can see, we're going to be reviewing the 81 rated Inform El Shawari. But before we do, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button below, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have any questions on Inform El Shawari or FIFA 16 in general, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. So let's jump right into his stats, and as you can see, he's got amazing attack positioning. His acceleration and sprint speed at 87 apiece, very nice indeed. Also good agility and good balance. Strength does leave somewhat to be desired for however. Great ball control, great dribbling as you would expect from El Shawari. Finishing is very nice as well as is his long shots and shot power. Also short passing not terrible and volleys pretty good as well. 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills is always a great addition on any card indeed. Very nice on this one I must say. Specialities, he's got the dribbler and traits, he's got injury pone and finesse shot. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on Inform El Shawari were that he was a very fun to use attacking player. One with great attributes in those areas that made him really easy to use and like I said very fun. In front of goal, very clinical. Really accurate with his shooting. He's obviously got that 4 star weak foot as well which means that he can score goals with either foot. And he's got great long range shooting and shot power which is really nice. He's not just getting in the box one on one finishing. He can score from long distance too. Really recommend using him. And he even chipped in with a goal or two from a header. So that was quite a surprise for me to be honest. But his positioning is also very very good. That maybe that made up for it and, and helped him to score those. But in general just scored a lot of goals for me. Got in really good positions to score. And I just found him very easy to use in that regard. Obviously his pace and dribbling also make it very easy to create good opportunities for himself and for others to score. I mean he's so lightning quick it's unbelievable. Obviously he's got pace to burn and the acceleration to match. He just keeps going and going and going. Very good. Feels a lot higher than 87 actually. Feels more like a 90-91 sort of pace player. So definitely a really great area. Especially when you combine it with his dribbling. The ball really does stick to his feet. It's so easy to get past players with him. And just create good opportunities as I said earlier. He's also got 4 star skills. So if you're a skiller you'll enjoy using him too. But even if you're not, it's so easy to just dance in between defenders. Just a little jink here and there and you're going to create enough space to get a shot off or a pass. Coming on to his passing, however, was a little bit hit and miss. For a player that does play on the wing, where you're going to be getting crosses in, etc. His passing and his crossing wasn't fantastic. It's not terrible, but it's not brilliant either, which is a little bit of a downside on the card. Obviously, anything short passing on the floor is, is more than adequate. You know, he's going to be able to find teammates in that way. But if you are using him as an out-and-out -out sort of winger, getting a lot of ball in the box, you may be disappointed with his standard of crossing. It's just something to be aware of when using him. Physicality, obviously, he's a winger, he's quick, he's probably not going to be that strong, and he isn't. But he's got good balance and agility, which sort of account for that. I mean that he can ride challenges. While he will get pushed off the ball from time to time, obviously, he's still able to ride challenges. And obviously, his great dribbling means that he'll snake his way through. Very, very good player. I've given him 9 out of 10. I've found him incredibly good to use. I really enjoyed using him too. He's currently going for around sort of 130,000 coins at the moment. I think it may well drop to about 80. Anything lower, I think you're getting an absolute bargain because he definitely plays at a much higher level. He feels way higher than 81, more like an 84, 85 rated player. So I definitely recommend going out and trying El Shawari's in form. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and peace. Mm, actually, mm, actually. It probably will. Yeah. Oh my god, you've got a legend! Am I? I'm got to... <laughs> I have no idea of a really. Oh, of any yeah. of these. Who is this guy? This card looks interesting. Oh. Stop with this card looks interesting. Go to the <laughs> fucking front. 